Hey guys, uh, this is Primeval. I'm about to get started with my live stream here. So today I have decided to play some Banished. The other game in contention was Pandora First Contact, which I don't think you guys have been too interested in, but I'll probably do an offline recording of that to see if you want to see a Let's Play. I think it would fit in with the whole Civ uh, fan type thing, since it is a 4x strategy game. Although I gotta say that Banished is has a lot more character than Pandora, despite the fact that they did put more effort into, well, at least more explicit effort into story than they have with Banished, which, as far as I can tell, you just have a bunch of villagers uh, in an isolated place and they try to survive. Anyways, I noticed the stream is just catching up now. We're about two and a half minutes behind um, the broadcast versus where I am. So I'm going to go and wait uh, for that to catch up to me here. Um, I just want to say that we're probably, unless there are some strong objections, going to be continuing uh, from the where we left off at my live stream test from last week. So I played about 20 or 25 minutes of the game. We went through and survived the first winter. We set up a little area over here where we have the hunter's hall and gatherer's hut, along with a storage barn and a forester's lodge, some wood chopping as well, storage pile. Anyways, just central industry that depends on having a forest around it. We set up over here and then over by our storage cart, we've got a couple houses and we're eventually going to set up some industry over here, so um, we'll probably need some tools. We want to school our uneducated children, um, but it's all in the first year, and I think I will go for the suggestion of what uh, of going for 900 pops. So uh, the game doesn't have victory conditions per se, but it does have a bunch of achievements to hunt for. And we'll go for the town achievement. I don't know if we can do that within the length of this live stream, um, but it's something that I'll resume later. Uh, so, to the timid chicken warrior, Banished is a city builder. Um, I think it's basically you start off with a bunch of citizens who've been banished from their old civilization. A Joe Zoes or Z0Z, Z0Z. I am Canadian. So we do prefer the Z for the Z. Anyways, uh, Banished is a city builder. You, it's sort of a, I guess these people were banished for being communists or wanting a planned economy or something. So I'm, I assigned, I assign all of my citizens different jobs and I also tell them what to build and where. Uh, and then they decide if they want to have children, who they want to have children with. And slowly we grow our town and uh, eventually into a prospering town of 900 citizens. At least that's the plan. So I think the chat has caught up to at least where I proposed to resume from our last save, and there aren't any strong objections, so let's get rolling. Alright, so our city from the live stream was called Count. Okay. And so what was happening here? Our reserve of tools is running low, as is our reserve of stored clothing. And so if we do want to grow our population, uh, well, our reserve of firewood is low, so let's go employ the woodcutter there. Firewood and clothing is important for having people survive the winter. Uh, but since we are just getting back into this game, let's go and take a look at the map. Uh, we do have uh, one major river that cuts through a uh, diagonal on the left, and then a smaller one on the right, making sort of the V. We got a few large crater type lakes. Not that that's overly relevant, but this is where we start. Our city is right here. Alright, so we're going to expand out, probably to the north, since there looks like. Uh, there's going to be a lot of good hunting and gathering grounds here. 
and we'll eventually get some fishing industries going along the river. And it is winter now. Alright, so let's see, should we get started with some education for the youngins? These little children running around with their jobs? They should be in school. We should definitely go and build them a schoolhouse. Um, although, I only have 10 adults right now. So I don't know if we can afford to employ a teacher. Now, education is important because educated citizens work a lot more efficiently, or maybe it's just 50% more efficiently than uneducated system, uh, than uneducated citizens. So here, the children that we arrived in our little isolated forest with are not educated, but luckily their parents are. Alright, so I think first, since we are down to just the one tool in reserve, uh, we'll close that box, we will start off by building a blacksmith and then we'll diversify and get a school going. Okay, so what do we need here? Uh, where is the blacksmith? Okay, let's drop down a blacksmith's hut right here. And... Hmm. I do have one person assigned as a builder. We'll also want a clothier or a tailor to build ourselves or manufacture some coats. Um, do we have the resources that we need to make coats? Hmm. So we can make three types of coats. Uh, coats from wool, and for wool we would need sheep, we don't have any sheep. Coats from hides, which I think we can get from just hunting deer. So let's see, where's my hunter's hall? Here we are. Uh, we are working that. Let's take a look at the info. I can get some info out of this, can't I? It's been a little while since I've played this. Oh, I can check the stockyard, yeah. So we do have some leather. We can definitely make ourselves some leather coats, so that'll be good. And we've got enough firewood. Okay, let's go employ another builder so we can actually get the tailor and the blacksmith online. Speed the time up to 2x. Okay, so after we take care of our tool and clothing needs, we will go get some more houses so we can get some more population going. Right now, well, this particular house only has one person in it. I wonder what she's done not to have any friends. Okay, so this house is occupied by a family, a couple with two, two children. Uh, yeah, so actually we're doing pretty well as far as houses go. We do have uh, one single person, uh, so we don't need to rush to build another house just yet. Let's get our uh, secondary industries online. Um, if you guys in the chat could let me know how my commentary noise slash uh, speaking volume is compared to the background music, that'd be good. Um, I did test it beforehand, but I don't know how things change on stream. Uh, meanwhile, we should go... We will need some more wood and stone if we're going to be building all of these buildings. Let's see, 32 iron, 16 iron, we do have enough iron for now. Stone though, I think we will need some more stone. Let's go mark some more stone for harvest. Collect all of the stone right here. Okay, so there's another winter safely survived. 
um, but we do want to get to that blacksmith online since we're out of our reserve of tools and uh, oh here's one guy working with a broken tool tools of course increase the efficiency at which our citizens work just like education all right so while they're all building that let's plan out some of our expansion goals to the north we could set up another set of hunting and gathering huts and as far as buildings we can build we already have our storage barn um, so a, a big part of the game is um, pathing and resource, resource management uh, the background music could actually be louder all right thanks uh, let's go and play with the settings there and um, options audio Pump that up to 21. Alright, cool. So let me know how the changes in audio go. And what's the hold up on this blacksmith, Evan? We are a little low on iron. Okay, so they're starting to build it right now. That's great. Alright, so as I was saying, um, other buildings that we can build. Oh, pathing, that's right. So I'm still... Everything is an acquired skill and needs practice. I'm not as good at live streaming as I'd like to think I am, or at least not as practiced as I am at live streaming compared to my offline Civ LPs. Um, so anyways, a big part of the game is pathing. You don't want your people walking too far away from their homes or having to walk too far from their jobs. So. All of these places that generate food or other things, uh, they generate goods which are then brought over to either the storage barn or this storage cart. And then, uh, as needed, <clears throat> the citizens will take the goods from the storage barn or storage cart to their houses where they also have their own private reserves. And so, while they're working, they occasionally go home to their houses to eat and <laughs> Thanks, uh, Benjamin Kingston. My soothing voice is music enough. Right, and so if they spend too much time walking back and forth, especially if it's winter, they could end up starving or dying in the cold, and they also work less efficiently if they're always walking back and forth from their homes or the storage barns. So that's another thing to consider when we're setting up new um, gathering nodes that uh, we'll want a storage barn, some houses, for the people who work there. I'll just quickly go and bring up, uh, where is the pathing information? All right, here we go. So here we can see where the people who live in these houses work, and they all work nearby. And we've got these houses here. Um, there's just a few people here who uh, work the Hunter's Lodge who live all the way down here, but really with the road to speed up movement, that's not so bad. Once we get a larger town and start expanding out, start doing some agriculture, and we do have to worry a little more about the paths people take to get to work. Alright, so what's the hold up on this blacksmith? Um, is it iron that we're low on? I suppose we could go and harvest some more iron. We do need... I think I have too many people gathering food and not enough gathering resources or building what I need. So let's shift some of the jobs over in our communist planned economy. Because while well, everyone does work and they do seem to exchange goods, uh, later on you can build a marketplace which is uh, better for helping to distribute goods, uh, again for the pathing and good distribution problem. Um, so while it's called a marketplace, I don't think there's actually any exchange of money in this game. So there's some sort of a Planned economy, communist commune, although other than the game mechanics, there's nothing to actually suggest that that's the case. So if you guys want to force some other theme on this game, I am happy to play with that. We don't have to be communists if you don't want to be. Uh, let's harvest this iron that's right beside the path there. That shouldn't be too much work. And this guy, what? My builder has a broken tool. 
He's using a broken tool to build the blacksmith. Well, after that, we'll uh, go employ a blacksmith, get some new tools going, and um, hopefully this guy will be able to work a little better. Um, so there, you just saw he took a break from building, went home to get a snack, and is back to working. So if... Okay, the blacksmith is done. Um, let's go employ one here. Now, if his home was much farther away, then we would have a lot of lost a lot of building time as he, you know, goes home to get a snack and comes back. Okay, so we're still waiting on the tailor. I only have one builder employed at the moment. And I think I will go and lower the ambient sounds of these people banging away at these piles of stone. Um, let's go bring up the options again. Audio. I'm assuming that's the ambient volume. Let's bring that down to 11. That still sounds kind of loud. Um, let me know if that needs more adjustment. I suppose we could also go and zoom out. Um, our people look more like little ants than actual citizens this way, but at least their incessant banging on rocks is not quite as loud. Alright, we also wanted another house. Let's see, our options for houses are either wooden houses, which take less stone, or stone houses, which require a larger chunk of stone and some iron. The advantage of stone houses, though, is they use less firewood to heat, and so in the long run that could save us a bunch of wood, um, which we could trade later on once we get a uh, harbor slash trading post going. Now the reason we will need to do some trading is that right now we don't have any seeds or livestock, and if we want to diversify into some ranching or some agriculture, we'll need to trade for some seeds. Um, and a trade good, we could actually trade raw logs or chopped firewood. Um, but as it is, since we are low, we have more wood than we have stone or iron. Let's go and build ourselves another wooden house. And then once these two buildings are done, we'll go and work on that school. So a couple of the kids we brought with us from the original town that we were banished from, possibly for being lepers, I mean, um, leprosy, as I understand it, isn't terribly contagious, but uh, it's definitely not something that people like to see. Uh, lepers are scary, at least in biblical times they certainly were. So, we weren't banished for being communists, but Benjamin Kingston reveals that we were banished for being lepers. But really, we're healthy, we have children. Um, so a couple kids have grown up, and now they're full-fledged laborers, ready to do work for us. Uh, however, they're not educated, so they won't be as efficient as their parents. And so I do want to get that school rolling. Yeah, let's go and plant the school down right now. Okay, so we can also build a well, which is useful for putting out fires, which can happen, I suppose. I don't have 4 stone to spare for a well right now, but as our town gets bigger, I will go and build ourselves a well. So here's the schoolhouse. Let's go and drop that right over here. And we'll also go ahead and set up a road. Over this way, and the road will lead over to anyone who wants to harvest this iron. I suppose we could go and mark that iron for harvesting as well. Our reserve of logs is low. Let's get another forester employed here. Uh, so the foresters will both plant trees and chop down mature trees. I don't know if that's a mature tree that fell over on its own, 
or if um, we had a forester doing that. Alright, so what's the radius on our hunter's lodge? Alright, so we're free to chop down the trees over here without affecting the yield of our hunting cabin or gatherer's hut. And since our reserve of logs is low, let's unemploy the woodcutter. We have enough firewood for now, and we'll go mark some more trees for clear cutting. Okay, and let's also go and employ a tailor. Uh, actually, our reserve of tools is good enough for now. We'll employ the blacksmith and re-employ or employ someone new as a tailor. So we could maybe just switch the job of the tailor to the blacksmith. Taylor, Malaysia, and at the moment we only have one house with a single adult in it. So we don't need to rush to build a second house, at least not just yet. Alright, so other buildings that fit into uh, secondary or tertiary jobs. There's a schoolhouse. Uh, a hospital, which is good for healing disease, and if we are lepers, it would make sense that we would want some of that going. Um, but our people are pretty healthy right now, so I don't think we can support a hospital or employing a doctor, at least not at the moment. We'll wait a little longer for that. We can also build a town hall at some point. Um, that's more of a late game thing, it'll let us accept new lepers or nomads into the colony as well as giving us some advanced stats for managing our growing town. We can also build a chapel, which will help keep our people happy. Um, but right now we're at full happiness, so I don't think we need to build ourselves a chapel just yet either. And a cemetery as well, which once people will eventually die of old age, assuming they don't die first of hunger or starvation. Oh wait, hunger or exposure, that's it. Exposure to the elements. Um, and we can offset some of the unhappiness they would have from losing their fellow citizens by building them a cemetery. And of course there's uh, more ways to get food than our current hunting and gathering. We'll get that online and we will need to in order to support a larger population since we are aiming for the 900 citizens. Let's employ some more builders. I don't want to have Right now we have eight children who are just playing in the forest and they could be having a good education to make them into more productive citizens. Let's um, prioritize finishing that school. Alright, cool, let's go and employ a teacher real quick. And let's see, do we need to build ourselves another house? Yes we do! They're all occupied with adult couples, at least I think they're adult couples. Well, <laughs> here we've got ourselves a 10 year old teacher and an 11 year old tailor. So I guess by the standards of our leper colony, they are considered adults. Who am I to judge? Uh, I, I only assign jobs, I do not assign morality. Alright, so let's drop down another wooden house. Alright, over here. And I suppose since we do have a bunch of fairly important buildings and a number of people's homes, we could go put down a well here. I'd hate to have a fire go and destroy any of these buildings. Well, first off, let's set up a road, go over in this direction, and we'll drop a well right there. Yeah, that looks good. We've got plenty of coats as well, or at least enough for now. Let's unemploy the tailor, and he can go on to general labor, um, which at the moment we need more stone. Let's go mark some more stone for harvest. All that, and this stuff as well. I guess we'll grab the iron while we're here. Alright, 
and collecting stone. It's good, we'll grab all of this iron. Good, so the laborers all have something to do. Um, okay, so what do you guys think we should build next? Should we build another set of hunting and gathering huts over in this very large and lush forest? Or should we try to get some of these other occupations going? We get a brewer, although I don't think we have anything to brew. Um, other than the berries that we're collecting uh, over at the gatherer's hut. I suppose you... Yeah, berries is probably all we could make uh, liquor out of. I don't think our town is large enough for a vendor yet. Um, getting the trading post going could be more exciting. We could diversify right away into some farming or agriculture. Although we don't have any goods in major excess to trade away. Um, stone cutting, position cleric. Let me know, what building should we go for next? In the meantime, I think I will start setting up our next hunting and gathering area. So at the moment, the radius goes to here. We could drop another one right in here somewhere. In which case, let's go and clear out this area. So we'll go and remove all resources right here. It's a little far away to walk. I'll also get a road going. Nice dirt road running all the way in here. Ah uh, yes, I do need to assign some builders here. options and we'll switch this so that the game doesn't pause uh, when I shift away to check the comments. Alright cool, so we've got 12 viewers online and Right now, I think the chat might be a bit behind. We're still just a leper colony. Alright, so we've just built another house. We've got a teacher living with a one-year-old child. Um, that's cool, children need a place to live, and um, we won't make any inferences as to whether or not they're couple, although building these houses is pretty important since it does let people have children, which is kind of the whole point here. We do want to grow our population. Um, let's go build ourselves another house. And I do have this dirt path that's being built. Excellent. And then we're going to go harvest a bunch of resources in here and set up a new pair of hunting and gathering lodges. And then I think we will go and set up a trading port so that we can try to either get some livestock or some agriculture going. Excellent. We can see the foresters at work. They've planted a whole bunch of young saplings within the radius, and eventually this will be a very thriving forest. 
Let's go harvest all of this iron and stone. We do have a lot of surface iron around here. That's convenient. Alright, let's go and speed this up to 10x, at least until we've cleared out some of these resources here. And I do want to yeah, clear what out to that bit of iron. And actually, if everyone's collecting resources around here, let's set up another stockpile. Since uh, I am going to be building a bunch of stuff here as well, let's go do a quick 4x4 stockpile. And then hopefully people will just, yeah, deposit all the resources they're collecting in this pile, rather than running all the way back here to drop off their goods. Hut radius ends here. We're gonna go and build another gatherer's hut, which is this thing right here. If we dropped it over here, that would be perfect. And let's set up some more roads for that. I'll also go and set up a hunting cabin adjacent. Let's see, what's the radius on that? That does look fine, although is that overlapping with this hunting cabin? Uh, just a little. Let's set it a little farther up, like right over here. Yeah, that looks good. And of course we'll need a house, um, a few homes over here to give our hunters and gatherers a place to live. We'll also need a storage barn so they don't have to travel too far after bringing in their berries and their game. Alright, everyone seems fine. We are starting to run low on little coats again, so or I guess these are just hide coats. So let's go and employ our tailor and actually have a better look at what he's actually making here. Just hide coats. Um, if we wanted warm coats, we would need a source of wool. And we are low on firewood, so I need to employ the woodcutter again as well. At some point, I do need to set up a storage barn here. Let's drop that in right over here. So we'll have to wait until they clear out all that stone. Uh, 
the music here is so peaceful and the soft patter of rain. Yeah, I really like this game. I mean, there aren't victory conditions, but it's just so satisfying watching these people run around. The seasons change. Alright, we do have plenty of food, although the numbers are dwindling slightly. Let's go. We'll have three gatherers and three hunters. And we do still need people out there collecting resources, so we'll have two laborers and a builder. We have a new student, and uh, someone's grown up to become a laborer. Let's see, can they get more information on that guy? Who's Bellano has become an adult. I wonder if he's an educated adult or one of the uneducated guys who had the unfortunate period of growing up when we didn't have a schoolhouse. All right, let's unemploy the tailor and switch over to a blacksmith since we're down to just the two tools in reserve right now. All right, so gone one grave. I can make a church. Um, I think the church just keeps people happier. And right now we are at maximum satisfaction. So other than you asking for a church, um, there's no real need to build one, but I am happy to listen to the chat. And that's the whole point of doing a live stream. So uh, once we have, yeah, let's, let's build a church. Maybe, um, maybe our people will I have more children if there's a church, uh, a Catholic church. A church for lepers. Alright, cool. So all of our houses are occupied with uh, pairs of adults or adults and students. Although not all of them are pairs of adults, so they all shouldn't be having children. Um, but yes, uh, a church. Let's go, and well, we definitely need more logs, so I should probably set up a forester's lodge here as well. Orchard. Woodcutter. Forester's Lodge. Alright, let's go and drop that somewhere over here. Yeah, this looks good. We'll just drop that, rotate this around, and drop a Forester's Lodge right there. And our reserve of logs is low, so let's unemploy the woodcutter again. He can go on just general labor. got six students at our schoolhouse. I think there should be a way for me to get more stats here. Um, or maybe I'm just remembering when we had, uh, when we eventually will build the town hall. Alright, I think that's enough uh, stone tools, or um, steel tools, iron tools. What are we making here? Iron tools. So that's enough. Iron tools for now. Let's go switch the blacksmith back to general labor. And as for our health, yes, let's go and build that church. And the church shouldn't directly or even indirectly necessarily help with our health, but um, we do go with what the chat wants. So, church time. Here's a- oh man, the chapel's huge. Um, I could put it beside the school. Might be a conflict if these lepers have any sort of rules regarding the separation of church and state, but let's go and drop that over here beside the tailor. It's near the well, we don't want the church to burn down. Uh, yeah, right over here. What does the church need? 130 stone. Okay, we're going to need to go and mark some more stone for harvesting. 
Uh, looks like we've grabbed all the nearby stone. There's a little stone to the south. I'll grab all this stone. And we do need more wood and firewood. So let's go chop down a whole bunch of trees. Harvest these trees. And uh, we do need the woodcutter back. And let's go and up the priority on chopping down those trees. They really do need these trees chopped down. I think our priorities in this particular town are a little messed up. We're building the church before we even get a hospital going. But I mean, I guess faith healing can be powerful. There's nothing like a good placebo and, or a strong social network and uh, supporting community. Alright, so speaking of medicine, let's go and get, let's see... An herbalist. Uh, they gather herbs and that can provide simple uh, healing to our. Oh no, there's a fire! Alright, so um, I think we automatically slow down time when there's a fire. Um, I don't think building a well is going to be very effective. So I think. Hmm. Wow. Well, that was bad luck. Uh, let's build a well here, anyways, just for the future. But um, I don't think. Well, let's build the well over by the storage barn because we don't want any of our stored goods to burn down. And it's bad enough that we're losing out on this wooden house. Hopefully all of this other stuff will catch fire. Alright, let's go and employ some more builders so we can build that well. I hope no one died in there. Ah, well I'm glad the fire's not spreading. I wonder if this um, environmental rain is helping to put out the fire. Ooh, and we do have someone who's homeless. I wonder if that's because his house burned down, or we just don't have enough houses And build ourselves another house. I think stone houses are also more resistant to these spontaneous fires. Let's go and drop that right here. Go throw up a road as well. Oh no, really? The gatherer's head is on fire? Someone build that well. Um, let's up the priority on that well. Quick, quick, we need a well. Don't you people understand? Oh man, this is a disaster. Well, <laughs> so much for our expansion hunting and gathering location. It looks like it's all going up in flames. I really hope they don't get to the storage barn because that'll um, it'll be a shame to lose all that food.
Alright, well, since I don't think there's anything we can actually do about this, let's, um, let's just let this fire resolve itself. We'll speed back up to at least five times. Um, hopefully this reserve stockpile doesn't burn down either. Ooh, deadly. Alright, bring yourself out, fire. Nothing to see here. That rattling sound. Well, this was a lovely new settlement until fire destroyed everything. Let's go and rebuild those houses. Um, we do have plenty of food, so I think I'll leave the hunter's cabin as a burned out wreck for now. I do have a source of meat over here. And uh, while we are a small town, we don't need quite as much meat. Okay, to finish the church we're going to need a lot more stone. Let's go and collect that stone. There's some stone up there. Stone way over here as well. And it looks like people might want a path on the diagonal here. Yeah, let's go and do that. We'll go and clear out this iron and get a path going along the diagonal. Okay, so that's a completely diagonal path that gets sort of blocked by this hill here. But it seems to be what people are walking, so who am I to argue? And if we can also clear that last bit of iron... I'd like to continue this path here. <laughs> yes. Gun one grave. At least uh, at the church they'll be able to lament the lost, the loss of all of their houses here. Um, I don't think anyone died. I hope no one died. Um, I didn't see anything pop up on the log, uh, so at least there's that. They can be thankful that there was no loss of life, only the loss of property and the hopes of this new settlement. Okay, if we do want to start trading for, say, livestock or seeds to start some agriculture, I guess we only have food in excess that we could trade. We could also trade some iron. We have been pretty lucky that we did start with a lot of iron here. We still need a lot more stone for this church. Let's kick the speed up slightly. And 
some of these people need houses now, which is concerning. Alright, let's... We need the stone to finish off some of these houses. Let's pause the church. How do I go about pausing the church here? Um, remove log stone. Can I pause the church? Alright, so let's unassign builders. One of one. Hmm. Alright. Uh, oh, here, this little pause button right here. Let's pause the church until we can get these people houses. Priorities. Priorities. Everyone's running around at maximum speed. We've got uh, a bunch of iron that should be harvested here. Meanwhile, they're all running around trying to get stone to finish the last of the houses and the church. Slash chapel. We do have a lot of stored up iron here few logs. Looks like I am gonna go. Um, let's employ some more foresters. Definitely don't need so many builders. And we're gonna have to clear cut some more trees here. Let's grab these trees here and uh, these trees here. What, was that another fire? Oh, no, it was just the smoke. Alright, I'm getting paranoid. We've got two wells. We should probably set up a well here since we did learn firsthand how devastating fires can be. Um, let's go and chop down this tree. And I'll put a well in right there at the corner. Come on, no one wants to chop down this tree, it looks beautiful. Alright, there we go. Tree's down, and let's go pop down a well to prevent future mishaps. Meanwhile, does everyone who wants a home have a home? Looks that way. Alright, we can resume the church then. seems happy enough. We could get the tailor back in business since we are starting to run low on hide coats. And let's go and up the priority on clearing out this iron. I do want to finish this path. I don't actually need it, but it is just bothering me from a completion perspective. Excellent, good, good. So, let's go build that road a bit. Excellent, finish off our dirt road. And I suppose our food reserves are running low, so let's go and rebuild the hunter's cabin and we'll go and employ some more hunters. Gathers for and did I ever build that gatherer's hut? Uh, no, we were interrupted. Oh no, no, I built the gatherer's hut, but it's the herbalist that I'm thinking of. 
and we didn't build it uh, since we were suddenly distracted by a major fire. Let's go build the dirt road around back. And I'll build a herbalist right over here. Hmm. Or maybe on this side of the storage barn. Let's see what the radius for the herbalist looks like. Okay, we could drop it over here, I suppose. Um, the more forests in its radius, the better, most likely. So let's go and drop that right here. We'll switch off from the tailor to the blacksmith again. Ah, the chapel's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, that looks great. I can see why they needed so much stone. And I see this little fawn is enjoying the dirt path that we made. I'll need the woodcutter. Oh. We're low on fire wood, despite the fact that we have the woodcutter constantly employed. Maybe it's time to build another woodcutter stall then. I guess right over by the storage barn slash wood pile. We can plop it down right over here. Alright, uh, resources. Yeah, let's go drop that right here. So Gun One Grave asks, is there a difficulty level for this game? Um, there are different difficulties for uh, the starting settings, and so I am playing on the hardest start. That means that we just start off with this uh, little cart, no, no seeds and nothing pre-built. Oh, so our chapel's finally done. Let's go and employ a cleric. Uh, so, uh, there is a variable difficulty as far as the start goes, and I'm playing on hardest, or difficult, and I forget what they're actually called. Uh, but apart from that, I think you can um, play a game where there are a lot of hills, which does make things more challenging since uh, the hills do are unworkable, so it makes it more difficult to place buildings efficiently. And um, I'm playing on just the normal map there. But otherwise, I suppose if you wanted to make things easier, you could turn disasters like the fire disaster we just had off. But um, otherwise, I'm playing on all default settings uh, with a hard start, which means that if we want to get into agriculture, start farming some wheat, or maybe herding some sheep. Uh, we will need to trade to get that stuff online. Okay. Oh, uh, our firewood situation is actually fine. Maybe I don't need this wood second woodcutter after all. Uh, so, our fuel reserves, let's pump that up to 500. Um, since firewood is a good trade good, And our stone tools have reached max. Let's uh, change the stone tool limit to 100 in case we want to trade some of those as well. I keep saying stone tools. Um, what I mean is iron tools. And uh, we'll do that for clothing as well. Switch that over to 100. So these resource limits just um, automatically stop work on producing uh, what's listed once we reach that amount. So this way, uh, once Say the blacksmith has built all the tools he can, we reach the limit, he goes and works as a general laborer. And we still have a lot of things that we could be harvesting as a general laborer here. Let's collect that iron. Since we do need an easy source of wood, 
let's um, harvest wood from down here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. We'll go and build a road all the way down that way, and then we'll collect wood from there. Set up a stockpile down here. I'm not sure. Since uh, there's these hills, we could set up another hunter gathering area here, but I think I might use this whole southern area for pastures and agriculture once we get some livestock and or crop seeds. Uh, but the main reason I built this road down here is so that we can harvest trees without negatively impacting all of our hunting and gathering activities. Okay, so the herbalist is done. Let's go employ an herbalist. And let's employ a hunter as well. Okay, so all of this looks good. We have nine laborers and a bunch of other job slots filled. We have enough tools for now. Let's switch that over to tailoring. Let's go maximum forester, and this way we can bring in wood without harvesting too many or clear cutting too many trees. Although I do want to do a bit of clear cutting here. So, let's get started on that trading post. City services, or other buildings. Where is the trading post? Alright, here we are, trading post. If you go and drop that right over here, although that might be a prime location hunt. Let's see. Well, let's diversify the fish first. Uh, the greater our food diversity, the healthier our citizens will be. So let's get some fishing going first, and then we'll drop the trading hut somewhere where it won't interfere with that. Yeah, right in this little bend in the river would get us the most water the fishing radius. Alright, if we want to build that, let's say right here. Hmm, looks like it really doesn't want to be built on this little point. Which is too bad because there's a lot of water there. Alright, so we could build it right here. That's. I guess that's not bad, but it's not really much better than just building it anywhere on the river. Yeah, it's not really much of an improvement. Alright, forget fishing. No, no, we, we do want the resource diversity. Okay, I'll drop the fishing hut slash dock right here. Alright, fine. And the radius on the gatherer's hut is here. We'll go. Definitely need a road to that. So Dizzy Boy asks if this game is worth the full retail price, and I bought it for full price. 
uh, and I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it's it doesn't have the same depth as Civ Five does, and I've definitely played a lot more hours of Civ Five than I have Banished. And had they been released in the reverse order, that would still be true. Um, but I definitely have enjoyed it. I don't regret buying it by any means. And so if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and think you would enjoy the game yourself and um, its price tag isn't going to break your budget, then I would certainly say uh, that this is a game that I recommend. But you'll have to judge that on your own, whether it's worth the price or not. But yes, the trading port that I wanted. We need 80 stone, we do have 80 stone. So where can we drop this right here? Or over here? Yeah, this should be fine. I don't think any boats that come to visit us will get trapped in this corner. At least I certainly hope they won't. Drop that there. Put down some more roads. And we will drop some houses for the traders and fishermen to live in. And I suppose we should drop a storage barn here as well, uh, since the traders will need some goods and uh, the fishermen will need a place to drop their fish. The radius on our hut. Alright, we'll drop the storage barn right here just to not get in the way of the gathering radius. And let's go clear cut this area for some more raw resources since I'm not using it for anything just yet. This looks good. Alright, so now Dizzy Boy asks, is it similar to Settlers? Um, oh, which, what Settlers? I, I don't think I've played any games called Settlers, so I don't think I can actually answer that question. Um, but we are managing settlers. Oh no, another fire? What's wrong with my people? Why is everything lighting on fire? At least they have a well nearby. Let's see if they actually do anything to put this fire out. Come on, people. I built you this well, I just want you to make use of it. What, what's even going on here? Okay, so this lady's bringing food back to her house despite the fact that her neighbor's house is on fire and she could potentially lose her own home. Um, and her home, which she just brought food to, is now on fire. Come on people, we have a well right here. If you would only be so kind as to get some water, yes, that's right, and put up the fires that are burning down your own homes. Come on, this is a disaster. All right, so maybe for my future communities, I won't build all the buildings quite so close together. Yeah, we'll space everything over by a tile or two. Okay, good. So here, they're bringing water to rescue their homes. Now, I don't know if... No, I think... No, not the schoolhouse! Oh, what a world! The humanity! This church did nothing for us! Oh no, is that the stockyard bringing down? No, it's just another house. Hmm. Well, this has been an unmitigated disaster. Not even the well is helping us out here. Huh. Well, that's, that's all really a real shame. Alright, but how's our trading post doing? 
Uh, we have all the resources we need, we just need some builders. Let's employ a couple of those. While we mourn the loss of all these houses and a school. A school full of children. Not to worry though, all the kids got out, no one died. Ah yes, so Dizzy Boy was referring to a game, The Settlers Heritage of Kings, which I haven't actually played, um, but apparently that game looks very similar to this one, uh, possibly with its pre-industrial setting, um, but it has combat. This game does not have any combat. Um, no roving barbarians or other feudal lords are going to come and attack us. We're just trying to build a nice and sustainable community. So as per my recommendation as to whether or not you should buy this game, if you want the combat acts aspect, um, this is going to be missing uh, from that. I guess. <laughs> Don't walk into a burning building to put it out. What what are you guys even doing? You're, you're gonna die. Oh man. I, I think rather than building a church, we should have built a school of fire safety. What a disaster. Oh, and the tailor burnt down. <sighs> oh well. Um, hopefully we didn't lose any of our iron tools or hide coats. Let's just employ a bunch of builders here. Go and diversify, get some livestock, some seeds. Don't believe it, two fires. Oh, and the blacksmith is on fire. Meanwhile, we have all of our laborers stoically carrying buckets of water over. Um, well, uh, we'll go and remove some of these houses. Let's remove the house from the corner. Oh, no, not rebuild. Cancel that. What I want to do is... Um, it's being replaced already, eh? Uh, well, we'll remove this structure, place the school a little further away, maybe over here next time around. Let's remove that. Um, unemploy the teacher since she doesn't actually have anything to do. Likewise with Taylor. And we will build ourselves a new school once all the fires have been put out. I guess that's enough of watching things burn. Let's just kick this up to five times speed. And hope that these guys can actually put out the fire on fast forward mode. All right, good, that's fine. Um, we do want to build ourselves a new schoolhouse. Let's see, services, a school. And we'll drop that right over here. Structure is being demolished, that's fine. And I don't know if you want to have the tailor right next to the church here. Let's also go and remove that. Uh, but we will go and Rebuild the blacksmith, we'll remove this house. Uh, we'll put a new house, uh, not directly adjacent to the blacksmith, we'll put in another well. Let's see now, Let's see services. Drop a well right here, and then we'll put a house over here. house being demolished, yes, okay, so we'll space our houses apart, 
a little more. Put one house there, and one house over here. And I will eventually need a new tailor. Alright, how's our training post doing? 80% complete. We've got the fishing dock done. Let's employ a few fishermen here. Also go and drop down a stockpile since we are clearing a bunch of resources here, and we might also want to sell some of our natural resources. fires. How did this even happen? Alright, so we've collected the maximum number of herbs. Let's up that limit to 300. We can also trade herbs away at the trading post. And yes, we could probably do with spreading some of these buildings out. Um, it will go and build one more house though. Somewhere in the middle, like over here. That should be a good spacing, and we're right by the river. I mean, if there's a fire, they can get water from the river. I hope. Some more stone. Let's grab the stone. All of that. And let's see if there are another source of conveniently located stone. I suppose we'll grab this stone as well. Alright, so this all looks fine. We do have a lot of things to rebuild, especially the schoolhouse. I guess demolishing buildings is a bit of a waste of resources, or at least manpower. But um, all these burnt out husks can't be good for town morale. And we could use another stockpile here, I suppose. This stockpile seems to be full. As does this one. Yeah, let's go build ourselves another stockpile. Uh, over. By the trading post. Let's go and employ some traders. And what will we trade here? We can trade some wood, that's for sure. Uh, herbs. Let's go trade away a hundred herbs. We can trade some iron as well. hundred iron. Let's finish that uh, wood cutter. The second wood cutter here. And we'll also trade some firewood. Uh, for now, let's go and trade 50 firewood, and we could trade some raw logs as well. Okay, that all looks fine. Maybe some hide coats, let's say 40 of them. Are we building that tailor again? Okay, maybe we don't want to give away or trade away our hide coats just yet since I don't currently have a tailor. Ok, 
Okay, everyone seems fine. I can't believe the schoolhouse burnt down. Let's um, up the priority on this schoolhouse here. And do we have any trading ships coming to visit our trading port? Not just yet. We've got plenty of food, plenty of wood and firewood. My second woodcutter is currently under construction. What we'll do is sell a bunch of our firewood uh, to any traders that happen to come by. We won't sell the raw logs. We will up the amount of firewood we're selling. Hmm, and it looks like we could use a storage barn around here as well. Maybe not somewhere where it'll burn down. Although right beside the well you'd think would be safe, um, because there are some hides just lying around here. Let's drop a storage barn. Sure, over by the school it does sound like it could be a risky proposition. Uh, well, beside the well, surely that will be safe. Far over here. Things are looking a little crowded. Final drop, the storage barn right here, and let's set up some more roads. Maybe another well, I suppose since we've had such bad luck with fires it wouldn't hurt to be a little cautious. Maybe I'll drop a well over here. What's the radius on our forester's lodge? Okay, we'll drop a well. Yeah, two wells. Can't hurt to be uh, overly cautious here. I do. Well, I don't have a lot of stone to spare. But in the name of safety, here's another well. And I really would like it if a Cargo ship come by, we could do some trading. Alright, the second woodcutter is complete. Let's go employ him there. And up the amount of firewood for trade to, let's say, 150. Herbs to 150. Okay, this all looks good. Let's put some more roads here. On the other side of the stockpile. his fisherman wife and a child was newly born here. That's a lovely domestic scene. Alright, let's um, 
pump the speed back up. I would like a trading ship to come by. Everyone seems mostly happy here. I do want to build a new tailor shop and uh, maybe somewhere where there's not so great a risk of everything burning down. Uh, maybe right over here. Yeah, let's build that way down over here. Although I really want that school finished. Reserve of firewood is low because we're shipping a lot of it over to our trading post to use as trade goods. Alright, so the school is done, let's go and employ a new teacher. Seven kids who were going without an education previously due to the last massive disaster we had can now hopefully go and become students. Meanwhile, I'm going to need another stockpile for Oh no, I have two stockpiles here. And then I can trade with any barges that happen to come by. Still am waiting on the barges. And we do need some more stone. Fishermen, a couple of gatherers. Maybe even another trader. We could store up some more firewood here. And some more iron in case there's something we really want to sell. Really, where is a barge that we can trade with? Employ the blacksmith. We are starting to run the wind tools. We're up to 56 population. 
which is quite a ways off from our goal of 900. But what I really want to do right now is either start farming some livestock or growing some crops. We can only get so far with hunting and gathering. firewood restoring at the trading post and I really would like to trade. Come on let's have a trading barge. Alright, so those of you watching on the stream, um, thoughts, suggestions? Let's see, what buildings uh, can we still build? We've built our trading post. Ah, excellent. So, we do have a merchant arriving somewhere. Excellent. Let's slow that down so we have. Time to figure out what he wants. Um, he's got cattle. All right, so we need at least a breeding pair. How much will that cost us? 800 each. Let's see now. Um, if we sell a whole bunch of firewood, that's four each. If we sell 400, uh, we can buy two cattle. Um, but that's kind of risky. I mean, let's buy three cattle for 600. Alright, so that's pretty much all the cattle we can afford at the moment. Um, but we'll be in the ranching game, so where should we set up our cattle ranch? Maybe right over here, we've already cleared out a bunch of space. So, pasture. Let's go and drop ourselves a pasture right here. What's the maximum size of the pasture? 20 by 20. All right, this is ambitious. We're planning to be huge cattle ranchers. We're gonna have steak for dinner. That's good, it's right by the storage barn, so once they harvest anything from those cattle, we'll be ready to go. So this seems good. Let's kick our timer back up to 10x, because I am excited to start ranching the three cattle that we bought. And I suppose we could use some more homes as well. Let's build a house for the rancher. Ah, let's build two houses here. Maybe not directly adjacent since we have been having all these problems with fire. Ah, we have another merchant here, eh? What do you have for sale? Uh, still the cattle. Uh, we do have some more firewood here, so let's go one and two hundred. Uh, well, let's leave this open for now. Meanwhile, 
cattle. We're gonna need, let's see now. We need some herdsmen. And I do want cattle here. So, how do I do this? Cattle? Excellent. And. Do, 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 do. Herdsmen. Two herdsmen. Excellent. Alright, and let's get one more out of here. There's that, and so we've got four out of twenty cattle there. That seems like a safe amount. Yep, <laughs> there the cow just wandered over with its friends. That seems like a safe bet for getting our herd going. Yes, these are good free-range cattle. They have a lot of space. In fact, the ratio of herdsmen to cattle is 2 to 1. That's even better than uh, we have going for the human cattle over here. It's one teacher to three students. It really is a shame though that that schoolhouse printed out. I think we had seven or eight students there at the time. Let's also go and employ the tailor. Happy cow. And you there, kid. You should be in school. What are you doing here? Stay in school. Where'd you go? Don't play hide and seek. Oh well. Another merchant has arrived, is that right? No, that's the message from the last thing there. Okay, time for some more clear cutting. We are going to need more wood and firewood in case we get another exciting merchant coming by our small town. Let's go harvest all of this stuff and this stuff. Alright, that's all been pretty exciting. I think I'm going to stop the stream here for about half an hour to grab lunch and I'll resume again for another little bit of Banished and then I'll see you guys on Tuesday for my Civ DD live stream. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen so far and those of you on the archive I also hope that this has been an enjoyable episode. Um, for those of you on the live stream, I'll see you again in about half an hour. So that'll be, uh, let's say, 12.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, let's go and save that. Save. And uh, thanks for tuning in.